Hello everyone and welcome to the El Nuclear channel. I wanted to be very specific today about a product, the Sumiko Amethyst Phono Cartridge, which I have owned and experienced for about a year and a half. And I was inspired to make this video for two reasons. One, because I see very little information and user-friendly data on this cartridge. I, I just, there's very little that's of value other than the fact that it's out there and exists, the price, etc. I don't see a lot of analysis on the sound of this cartridge. So I wanted to act to that forum. The other key bit of information that made me want to do this was a conversation I had with one of the developers of the Sumiko Oyster line and some of the moving coil designs. And I felt this was an invaluable uh, conversation and gave me knowledge from an insider's view. So I wanted to share it anonymously. I can't say who it was, but I can tell you the depth of information that helped me find peace with some of the decisions I've made in regards to phono cartridges and specifically having a good feeling about the amethyst intuitively, it kind of reinforced my beliefs about this specific product. So let me start with saying that he thought that this cartridge was underpriced, that the quality was so good that it should be more than, it, than the $5.99 price tag that it is in America. One of his favorite cartridges, he said he preferred it to the moving coil Songbird even. He did say the one above that, the, the MC uh, Starling was superior, but of course that's a twenty, it's a $1,800 cartridge. So in the playing field of quality versus price, the Amethyst for any price is an excellent choice. I thought this, by hearing him reinforce some of those ideas, it really kind of made me feel really good that what I have is a, good, is a good cartridge to not necessarily feel a compulsion to upgrade. So, what can we say specifically about the sonic character of the Amethyst? To my ears, I would say very much a neutral sounding cartridge. Um, there's no exaggeration. I would say it's faithful to the mix intended by an artist. I don't think there's anything about the sonic character that's, that's unrealistic or exaggerated. The highs are very well defined. They're not harsh. The bottom end is nice and warm, but it's not overly exaggerated. The sound staging overall is just very much balanced. And I think when you listen to music, neutrality is important. I don't think you want to push frequencies that were unintended. I don't think that's a good idea. To some people's ears, maybe that they would differ in that opinion. But I do like the sound of neutrality with definition and clarity. And I think this delivers very well in a well-rounded manner. That's the way I would describe the sonic signature of the amethyst. So if that description appeals to you, maybe it's a good choice for you. But for $599, I think it is an excellent uh, solution to those who are looking to find that kind of sonic uh, palette. So you might know that the Sumiko Oyster line has, I think, five levels now. They just added uh, was the Well Fleet, I think it is, the another, so now there's four that share the same body, so you can upgrade your stylus when it wears out to a higher level, and then the Amethyst, which is its own independent system, so that you need to, you know, the body is going to be different, so you can't upgrade from the lower to the Amethyst. But for $5.99, it is a really great value. And interesting, like I said before, that this this man who spent so much time analyzing these cartridges on a professional level 
with others developing and pricing these, these products felt that the amethyst was competitive with the songbird. That is a really telling specific bit of information. So I really hope it helps you in your hopefully not too dramatic struggle to find that sound that just really brings a tear to your eye, that gives you that joy when you're listening to your music. Because that's all that matters. You want to get past all of this analysis and buying and selling and upgrading. You want to enjoy your music. And I think the Amethyst will help you do that when you don't have you know, the highest end possible equipment, when you have modest equipment that's good, but not such a high level, you gotta, you know, make sure that you're making good matching choices with your components. I've said it before, very important, especially with your phono cartridge, which is the tip of the iceberg, no pun intended. So if you don't have a phono stage that's going to give you the most out of your phono cartridge, it might not be worth a cent to upgrade your phono cartridge. So you got to consider all of these things. One other thing I wanted to touch on is moving magnet, I mean moving coil, high and low output. So much marketing has gone on lately between companies with high output moving coil designs. If you know uh, enough from your own research, you'll, the general consensus is that a low output is going to be superior in sound to a high output. So apples and oranges maybe when you're comparing all of these different cartridges because they're so interdependent on the rest of your system. So I would be very careful in spending money on something that is more like gambling in Las Vegas you don't know whether you're going to get a true upgrade by spending more money. So if you want to kind of hit a middle ground and spend still a fair amount of cash, $600 is definitely still a lot of money to pay for a phono cartridge, but I don't think you're, you're going to regret that price point for the capacity that this cartridge has. And if someone told you that there was a $2,000 cartridge, you'd probably believe it because it sounds so good. So that is basically what I'm hoping you come away with from this video, is that it's an excellent cartridge at any price. So the Sumiko Amethyst, and enjoy your music, don't obsess on your equipment, try to really just find a set point that allows you to sit back and find joy in songs and not the sonic, you know, analytical aspect of, of listening to music. It really should be about the music itself. That is where you want to get to. So thank you, and subscribe if, you've, if you'd like, and I appreciate your watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.